Now let's bring in our GMA legal analyst, Dan Abrams. Dan, Josh Powell was a person of interest, the only person of interest in his wife's disappearance. Should he have been having these visits with his son in the first place? Well, look, you, you look back now with hindsight, and the answer is, of course not. But uh, as a legal matter, this is as restrictive a visit as he could possibly have, meaning it's supervised. There's someone there to make sure that everything goes okay, etc. Um, it's hard to imagine how they could have said to him based on what we had known at the time you can never see your kids um, and I can assure you he hadn't yet been convicted of a crime well, he hadn't been charged with a crime remember so it, it's not just convicted um, but I can assure you that the judges and the social service workers and the investigators and the prosecutors are absolutely devastated after hearing I can tell you as someone who's covered this case that when I heard the news last night I was completely torn apart should they have been having these visits perhaps in a neutral third party location not in Josh Powell's home where he could where he could set up an inferno yeah, like this uh, maybe but you have to wonder if he had wanted to do this he could have figured out a way uh, to do it in, in a neutral location he could have figured out a way to do it in, in, in the grandparents home etc so I think to start pointing fingers of blame at this point is probably unfair and unproductive the finger of blame goes directly at Josh Powell all right well we'll have more on this case in the next half hour but Dan thanks for your legal okay. analysis this morning